What's going on, everybody? Ed back with Silver Sport with another first off the line rip, and we got Chuck on the line. Holy cow, back to back new stuff. What do you say? What do you know? Elite. Eddie's got his fields up there. I got my fields. Oh, of yeah. This, of course, one up guy had to get the numbered. Uh, what, are, what are those numbered out of well, there, Eddie? Uh, those are out of 99. But let's 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 backtrack a little bit. The only reason I got the one out of ninety nine is because I pulled one out of the elite first off the line box last year. I think oh. it was first off the line, but I pulled the one out of ninety nine. So then I had to go chase the set to match the one I pulled. So, which makes it even <laughs> sweeter that I pulled one of those, right? So, uh, but that is one of the big things we love about elite is the spellbound cards. Uh, big fan of those. And Fields did not have one in his rookie year, so this is twenty twenty two. So yep. I hope he probably has one this year. I don't know, but uh, fun stuff. So uh, I did not, just to let everybody know, I did not get encased. I just thought it was priced too high given the fact that they didn't grade the cards in it anymore. Uh, I watched a few cases last night uh, quick on YouTube and uh, skipped through it real quick, and, and I noticed uh, quickly that it was probably a good idea not to get it. As much as I wanted yeah. to get it to rip one on the channel, I knew it was a loss, right? Like, one in yeah. 500 boxes is going to have a card worth more than $600. Uh, I did notice that they were using some funky markers on them, too. That, like, the autographs didn't look too good. On, like, Kenny Pickett and some other guys had some, like, big fat marker type thing. Anyway, moving on from that, didn't get it, but uh, missed the last affordable product from Panini that may ever be produced, right? I don't, who knows? We'll see if Mosaic yeah, comes out and all that. It's like your opinion, man. It's like your opinion, man. Yeah, well... <laughs> You know, it is what it is. <laughs> He's not here, man. Uh, I just, I just want to point out to everybody that Ed says affordable product. Six hundred and fifty dollars for two cards is an affordable product to you, Eddie. For twenty twenty two, it's the last one that you can actually buy because the the only other one left is flawless. Oh, okay. And that's seven thousand dollars a box. So I got you. By yeah, that, right. I mean okay. <laughs> Uh, I hear you. It wasn't affordable enough for me to actually pull the trigger on it, Chuck, as you well know. So there is, you know, you can, uh -oh. you can uh, temper it with that, right? So can are you we, still hear me? Yeah, I still hear you fine. Did okay. I go black right. on you? Chuck's, Chuck's no, cheap-ass Wi-Fi. <laughs> no, I was trying to, it's Chuck's cheap-ass headphones. I was trying to turn up the volume, and it said, like, microphone off. And I was like, oh, uh-oh. <laughs> you pushed the wrong button, dummy. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's get the chicken going on this here. How much this first off the line box cost you? So these were... Oh, I can't even set him up there. He's going to fall down. i got to just put him right on there. Oh, he's right up close to the microphone, too. Probably deafening everyone in the audience with chicken love. Uh, I do got a new t-shirt design I'm building, too, just to let you guys know. I will only order XL and larger for all my peeps out there been asking. I'm working on it. Uh, and it is going to have a chicken integrated into it. I paid somebody on Fiverr, so we'll see what kind of design I come up with. But hopefully, if it comes out like my vision, it's going to be really cool. Uh, right, how much did you pay for this Elite first off the line box? $707.88 for two boxes. Oh. So, yeah. I for uh, one black gold ink pen pals or turn of the century black gold autograph, one additional autograph, one relic, one pink or platinum parallel, five additional parallels, 11 inserts, and three... NFL rookies. Three NFL rookies, but they're numbered in this product, if I believe, right? They used to be out of five ninety nine. Now they're probably out of nine ninety nine, so they can make more boxes. Uh, but yeah, the black gold auto should be good. Now the problem is you're guaranteed not to get Bryce Young. So I don't uh, get a team in this at all? Oh, all right. Oh, oh okay. Hold on. Uh, did you do the math? You didn't do the math, Chuck. It's eleven dollars. So seven oh seven for two boxes. And your own your own is uh three fifty three a box divided by thirty two is eleven dollars. Eleven dollars. And what are you at now? Like one seventeen? One seventeen, yep. One twenty eight? Ooh, Chuck's getting close to cracking two hundred. Yeah. All right, we're doing a three team thing. You got six. All right, do I get to see the wheel? You can see it, can't you? No, I see uh Donruss Elite football hobby box break average. Oh, there you go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, and maximize. We're doing a three team thing, right? Here we go. First team. Oh, the Chicago Bears! Get out! Oh, the Arizona Cardinals! <laughs> oh. Why did I lose your sound now, Chuck? How about now? 
Yeah, now I hear you. What'd you do? The microphone died. Oh. <laughs> Chuck's not all right. So Chuck's not charging his stuff, but we got him back with no microphone. So uh, you can hear me, can't you? Yeah, I hear you just fine. There's a little bit of an echo, but you know it's it's all good. We hear you clear. Uh, okay, so cards. I guess I can line those two out and start with the so cards. In, in in the past 15, 16 videos, I've gotten the pat the Patriots three times, the Falcons twice, the Eagles twice, the Cardinals twice, and the Rams twice. That's the that's the world of random, Chuck. That's the that's Ed's rigged ass wheel, and then the Seahawks, Titans, Bengals, and Cowboys in here between. Co here comes number two. Well, you know you got the chart. Uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Bucks. Who did they draft? I don't know. Uh, and third one, which I'm going to remove. <laughs> 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 oh man, Las Vegas Raiders. That's all junk teams, man. Uh, yeah, I don't even know who they've, like, I can't even think of who they've all drafted. Raiders. Yeah, uh, those are all junk teams. That's, that's all just terrible. Aiden O'Connell, I guess. Uh, yeah, for the Raiders? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so which one you want out of Tampa Bay and, and, uh... Uh, give me, give me Tampa Bay. I mean, the Bucks. Uh, I think yeah. they drafted a running back, didn't they? I, I don't know. I, I don't even. I think they. I think they might have drafted somebody. Let me, let me t take off your screen before you ask me. Okay, close. There we go. Yeah, it um, don't matter. All right, hit it. <laughs> it don't look at Chuck. No, I'm just, it, it really does. I mean, again, this is why we started doing this, too, to show the ridiculousness of breaks and random teams and stuff. And it just, it backfired on both of us for a little while when I kept hitting. Yeah. You know what I mean? But this is the reality of breaks and random teams. It's, yeah. It's, it's not good. The pendulum sling, <laughs> swings back the other way, huh? You know, it, it, it's not good. So, yeah, don't don't think you're going to make a killing on... Uh... The nice benefit of it is is you hit enough in the beginning... To still feel okay for a good uh, three, four hundred more dollars of losses. <laughs> like, uh, well, maybe you do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, oh, Kenny Pickett on the back. Is that a rookie Kenny Pickett numbered? What is oh, going on with these things? It's 2023. It's like the kid reporters, and there's like a backward card on both sides. Like you, you said, it's 2023, so it's not a Kenny Pickett uh, rookie. Oh, there you go. Uh, there's a JSN rookie elitist pulling JSN like nobody's business. Chuck mad about getting the Seahawks on the wheel when he does. And that's and I'd be pulling the crap out of JSN. Right? So that's an insert, not one of the three rookies uh promised, I don't believe. Uh TJ Watt. So uh, again, elite paper cards, uh pretty similar design every year with the shimmy shine like foil on it. Um you know, the edges are, are, it's kind of a weak card stock, so the edges with the foil are sometimes jacked, but they don't look too bad here. Jalen Waddle, Amon Ross St. Brown, and Kenny Pickett. Why did you think that Kenny Pickett was numbered? I don't know, because I was still thinking I was open to 2022 stuff. <laughs> so, and here we go again with, oh, there is one of my rookies, Luke Musgrave, numbered out of 399. Oh, for the Packers Musgrave. with a little explosion in the back there. Uh, yeah, Luke Musgrave. That is probably a tight end because that's, well. He, he is a tight end, and he has been named Green Bay TE1 oh. on, uh, 23 hours ago. Oh, yeah. Draft him in fantasy. Luke, Mc, uh, Joe Mixon, Travis Out Etienne. Of Bend Senior High School. He was a member of football, lacrosse, track, and ski racing teams. Oh, Second round pick, 42nd overall. Is that how he got his tight end? Might be. Musgrave's <laughs> father, Doug, played quarterback at Oregon. His uncle, Bill, also played quarterback at Oregon before playing and coaching in the NFL. i got to figure these things out. Okay, so it's the... Oh, I no, do like the these. the cards. Yeah, you do like the cards, yeah. Kayshawn Butte for the Patriots. I'm a big fan. I keep, I keep some of these every year uh, just because, I don't know, I dig the design. So yeah, no, that's cool. Rookie those are nice. I like those. Supposed to look like a... Like a playing card but it doesn't really look much like a playing card this year especially on the back so i'm not really sure about that but that's cool kirk cousins won me my fantasy league last year with the tcg brothers in my in my super flex 
uh, him and Justin Jefferson. Garrett Wilson. Oh, this you one's this was gonna, You said this was going to be a quick video, dude. It's 20 packs. Yeah, I didn't remember how many... Uh, Oh, there's something chunky in here, and I don't know which side to go with. All right, we'll go with this one. Darnell Washington. Uh, yep, it is out of nine ninety nine. Pretty sure these were five ninety nine last year. Uh, so they've they've made three hundred thousand more boxes this year. And here comes our first hit. Devonte Adams on the two. Oh, I guess I guess I should have taken the Raiders, huh? Yeah, <laughs> we didn't have them, did you? Yeah, the Raiders was one of the choices. Oh yeah. Devontae Adams, that's the one I took off the board. Oh, Devontae. oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're right. Good call. Look at you. Authentic memorabilia, not from any specific game or event, though, but it is a two color Raider patch. I got to get the thicky sleeve for this one. It's about a 150 point card. Big, chunky one. Moxie. And I think I, I like the I like the design on this better last year than I do this year. Uh, I'm not a. It's not. Yeah. Darnell Washington, another tight end, uh, born in Las Vegas, uh, went to Desert Pines High School where he played football and basketball. So am I going to go three for three with all my rookies being tight ends, numbered 88? Because they're both numbered 88, too. <laughs> we see that. Yeah. It looks like 88 and 88. Huh? Uh, maybe or is, or is, that the, is that the airbrushed instead of the double zeros they went with uh, 88s? Yeah, who knows, right? Maybe. Everybody's an 88. Because it looks like he's 80 in the pictures I'm seeing for the Steelers. <laughs> Allen Robinson on the High Life. Oh, there you go, Chuck. Chuck's, Chuck's favorite card right there, High Life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know why I'm sleeving up Allen Robinson, but there we go. <laughs> Got me off. Mac Jones, no more Bailey Zappi, Chuck. Uh, what do you think about that? Oh, uh, I think they re-signed him to the uh, practice squad. Yeah, but they're rolling with only one QB. Well, no, nah, they'll bring somebody in. I mean, the practice squad is. Oh, not... hey, 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 hey! That's a Buccaneer, my friend. Are you oh, not giving me oh, my cards again? Baker you know Mayfield. you owe me a Zeke out of that. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah! I did catch that one forty-seven times in the comments, Chuck. Thank, thank you, <laughs> thank you, hashtag Chuck's Army, because Ed's got me looking up players, and he just bang, throws my cards into his pile. I tried to get him. Uh, oh. Oh, why are you peeking at the autograph? Well, because I th I was trying to figure out which side was right. Trey Tucker, tell me he's a tight end, too, to make it three for three on my tight end's uh, rookie cards. Trey Tucker, NFL, is a wide receiver for the oh. Raiders. Uh, Will McDonald, Otto, is going to be Will. our first one. Will McDonald? Turn of the century. So that is not my first off the line. Yeah, he was a top, top 10 draft pick, right? Will McDonald? Uh, for McDonald's. the Jets, he was a uh, 15th overall. That is number 34 out of 49. Number 15th overall, you said? Yep. Uh, out of Pewaukee, Wisconsin, attended Casimir Pulaski High School before transferring to Waukesha North High School in Waukesha, Wisconsin. Waukesha. Uh, first round, uh, first round pick, number 15 overall. Yes, sir. Uh, not too shabby for my second autograph. Hopefully my black gold is not a tight end. end. Yeah. Just hoping that my black gold is not a tight end, Chuck. It's all them. And it was two autos and one mem is what we said in here, right? Yep. Well, let me look up UDFA tight ends and we'll figure out who it's going to be. Oh, here we go. Uh, next on stage, Playmakers, Jalen oh, Waddle. That's the same uh, design as years past. Huh? I think I actually like this year's design a little better than last year's, though. This one's actually better. So the other one was not. And I sleeved it up. Kyler Murray still playing video games for the first four weeks of the year, so I hear. <laughs> Call of Duty came out. I can't play for the first four weeks, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm injured. Patty Mahomes and George Kittle. Uh, another chunky pack. I think these might have blanks in them. Oh, what do we got there? Jalen Waddle out of $3.99 on that bronze. Oh, numbered, huh? There's the blank. Future Chuck 101. Dangerous. Jair Alexander. AJ Brown. And Brock Purdy. Not a rookie. Not a rookie. Not a rookie. Still looking for that black gold ink pen pals or turn of the century black gold autograph. Yeah, so we hit our mem and one of the autos. What do yeah. we got here? Playmakers out of 25. Oh, out of 25. 
Nick Chubb for the Cleveland Browns. We've been asking for Browns, and we've been getting them, Chuck. Strangely yes, enough, sir. right? 325. Yeah. That's kind of nice. That is a good-looking card. Uh, with the team colors, there's like the little sparkles on the edges there. Uh, it does. It looks good. I like it. Well, fan, let me top load up Chubb out of 25. Top load my Chubb. Oh, Always my cover your Chubb, Chuck. $128. Oof. Uh, what's that? Oh, you're here. <laughs> Caused him so much pain he had to go black. <laughs> Chris Olave, Mark Andrews, and Derek Stingley Jr. He gone. Oh, and we got one. Out of 99, same as last year. Tua Tungo by Loa. Oh. 91 of 99. Tua is it, Spellbound. Is it Tua or Tunga Viola that A from? Tunga Viola. So that's going to be a long one to spell out. <laughs> which, which A is that? That's the end one. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. It's highlighted there. Nice. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, they're the same way on these ones. Uh, you can see it's like a different color on the letter it actually is. So that's oh, nice. Yeah, I'll never notice that. That's how observant I am. And there he is, Justin Fields. Oh, it's a duplicate. Put it in my box. Oh, there we go. All right. Uh... <laughs> Pat Sertan, that might disappear after the video, though, when I think on it a little more. And there's another two. Of <laughs> <laughs> uh, should have a throwback Thursday coming up. Uh, Chuck is scheduled to appear, depending on gas prices. That's uh, right. They're creeping up. Four forty nine at my local gas station here. So I don't know. Oh, that cracks the four and a half dollar mark. I paid five dollars uh, yesterday. Oh, that's might be off. All bets might be off. Justin Jefferson, elitist. Good looking card. Uh, Derek Henry, Brian Tannehill, Jalen Hurts, and Aaron Donald. And I do believe these come out in retail too. Uh, so, you know, the base cards. Oh, Drew Sanders, rookie, out of $3.99 on that orange blast thing. What's his name? Drew Sanders for the Broncos. DR, I can't see it's all. DRU Sanders, like Dion Sanders, except DR, w, DREW. Tyreek, Josh Allen, Kirk, and Stafford. Oh, chunky one here at the back. Is this going to be the one? Sanders. Is that going to be the one? Oh, it is. What is this? Jalen Hyatt. Jalen. Oh, that's just the. Oh, that's just the. Oh, rookie deck. Yeah. Uh, rookie on deck, Jalen Hyatt. Hearing good uh, things. Jalen Hyatt him. switches to Odell Beckham. Gi Odell Beckham's Giants number wants to start his own legacy in number thirteen. Third round pick. Out of, uh, from Irmo, South Carolina, a suburb near, of nearby Columbia. Went to Dutch Fork High School in Irmo. I-R-M-O. Oh. Aaron Jones, Justin Herbie, DK, and Jahan Dotson. Not a rookie. Yeah, it's kind of definitely thin on rookies in this stuff, huh? Well, it said you were only getting three rookies. I think you've got more than three rookies. Yeah, total. I got a couple numbered ones. I think you know different numbered yeah. ones, inserts or whatever. Pat Sertan. That's going to be a an elite deck, not a rookie on deck yeah. for the Broncos. Another Bronco hit. Broncos been hot too, Chuck. Yeah. Uh, another blank, Chuck. One of one. Me. This this X two one of ones I hit. This actually might be a good product for that uh, first uh, uh, for the fantasy rip league to start off the year. It's a pretty fat box, yeah. I got I to gotta check on that one see if we're still doing the fantasy rip league this year. Uh, that was always fun. Well, I think if you didn't get your invite already, I don't think they want you to play. <laughs> they don't want me to play. You're not invited. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds legit. Uh, and there it is. Last rookie. Oh, and a redemption on my oh. freaking first off the line auto again, Chuck. That's two first off the line boxes in a row. Uh, yeah, that's unbelievable. Terrible. That is terrible. 842 out of 99 Marvin Mims, and I haven't even looked at it yet. I don't know if you guys Absolutely can see it. Absolutely terrible. But let's just figure it out here. Uh, the turn of the century autographs black gold. 
So it's not even rookie. It's not even uh, pen pals. It's turn of the century. Who the heck is Muhammad Ibrahim, Chuck? <laughs> Who's Muhammad Ibrahim, and why didn't they just skip him? Unbelievable, dude. Um, I B R A H I M. He is a midfielder for Egypt. Yeah, sounds about right. Thanks, Panini. <laughs> oh, uh, man. Detroit Lions running back. I'm sorry, but a redemption or points should not be allowed to be in place. A Detroit Lions running back. So he was selected. So he's a late, late, late round pick after Jameer Gibbs then. No, UDFA. Oh, even worse. Yeah, got it. Out of Baltimore, Maryland, Our Lady of Good Counsel High School in Olney, Maryland. And Isaiah Pacheco in every set now this year, but as a rookie, he, he was only in like three, right? Uh, oh, my goodness. Okay, so although Abraham was not selected during the draft, he signed with the Detroit Lions as a UDFA immediately after the draft's conclusion. He was waived slash injured on August 20th, 2023, and placed on injured reserve. He was released on August 26th, 2023, with an injury settlement. That's, that's fucking... So he is out of the league. Making me drop F-bombs. From again. God dang it, man. I that just is, fire that right into the fireplace, dude. That is, that's, just, is, that's, that's terrible. It's, it's... Come on, man. Oh, that, that, that is terrible. Two out of three CD Lamb. Oh, well, there you go. Two out of three. Look how look how quickly they make you forget Muhammad Ibrahim. Oh, uh, I want to forget Muhammad Ibrahim, and I'm sure I will in about 15 minutes after I enter it in and hope for a one of one. But now the problem is I can't even hope for one of ones at the national next year because I don't know if Panini makes it 12 months and is able to give me some one of ones out of it. Right? Like that's a nice one though. But Muhammad, my I don't even see Muhammad Ibrahim's not even on the checklist. What card number does it say? Uh, oh, it's, it's it's turn of the century. I'm looking at pen. Yeah, pens. yeah. Uh, it's it's ridiculous, dude. Black gold. That's my first well, off the line. Number twenty five or less, Muhammad Ibrahim. I mean, I guess you're gonna win some and lose some. The checklist is gonna be giant. All those black gold autos ain't gonna be good. But it'd be nice to have it in your box that you paid an extra. I don't know. What did we pay an extra? Uh, seventy five dollars for this box, something like that. Probably over the what? What it's gonna yeah. come out at retail? That, that's that's freaking terrible, man. It really is. Two boxes in a row, first off the line. Uh, I would have been a little happier, at least if it was JSN, because he's signing in everything except what I open and pull him in. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like his autos are live and everything else except for you know what I pulled him out of. Uh, Trevor Lawrence. Wow, that's that sucks, man. Joey B. It will make a good fantasy rip league rip if I want to do that. I gotta find out. Hey, uh, do I get my Mike Evans base card? Uh, yes, yes, you do. But I'm taking Justin Fields back, seeing how you're being like that. Well, all right. Well, let him take. You can take. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh, man. I thought I was going to have a Justin Fields card to add oh. to my uh, album. Oh, what do we got here? Here's a new insert. Out of 349, Raheem Mostert on the full throttle. Good looking card. Not the most desirable player, but, uh, you know, maybe he, looked, he did look good for, for Miami last year. Danny Dimes. Najee, Fred Warner, and Tony Pollard. And last pack. Hobby only inserts is Elite Deck, High Life, Rookie on Deck, and Rookie Elitist. Those are your hobby only inserts. Oh, we got another rookie, numbered one out of 71. How much you want to bet he's a tight end for the Colts? Julius Brents. Julius, Julius. Oh, cornerback. Cornerback. Brent. Julius Brents. Numbered one out of 71. Uh, Indianapolis Colts, second round pick, number 44 overall out of Warren Central High School in Indianapolis, Indiana. Also, oh, local kid for the Colts. There you go. That's cool. Yep. Uh, that reminds me the Colts team, team pack, is currently the only team pack that I have available on the website. It's been up there for like a week and nobody's bought it. Everything else gets snapped up. Oh. So I don't know. Uh, if you're a Colts fan and looking for the monthly team pack, it's live up there, but uh, Interesting. yeah, I put that one back live. But the, you know, the, I put the other, I put three up there live like two weeks ago, and the the first two were snapped up in three minutes, uh, and then the Colts just just kind of sat. So maybe we got no Colts fans. Nobody likes Anthony Richardson. I don't know. So 
There we go. Uh, that was uh, a, a swift kick in the nuts, I'd, ha- I'd have Man. to say, right? Like, Will McDonald was cool, right? Yeah, 15th uh, overall pick, yeah. That is a literal uh, $5 card, black gold ink, and that's just because somebody thinks the card looks cool, right? Like, uh, Yeah, it's, right? that's like, it. <laughs> if it. If you ever see the card and it does look cool, I don't even know, right? So, uh, CD Lamb, two out of three. I mean, yeah. not a lot of flash for being a short-numbered card out of three. I, I got to admit. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, that's the elite style, right? But it is kind of color match with the almost. Yeah, yeah. pretty good. Uh, anyway, two out of three, Oof, okay. CD Lamb. Will McDonald. Uh, you may see some of these cars. Maybe Will McDonald be up on eBay. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to check him out. But uh, check it out this weekend. We will be live this weekend on Sunday again for the fantasy drafts. You'll see me try to fumble through three drafts at the same time and screw everything up. Uh, well, I just sit back and laugh. And Chuck don't care about fantasy, so he's just going to let him auto draft for him. So, <laughs> <laughs> I may have an ace up my sleeve. I don't know yet. Oh, we'll here he goes. Now out. he's coming with the Chuck cheat sheet. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks everybody for joining us, and we will see you next time. Thanks everybody, and we're out. <laughs>